Introduction to Digital Photography The History of Photography Learning Outcomes In this lesson, you will learn about the earliest work that led us to the photographic devices we have today. To fully appreciate the potential and capabilities of digital technology and, indeed, digital photography, one must recall the groundbreaking discoveries of the auteurs and inventors who came before us. So, where does the name photography come from? Well, it is worth mentioning Sir John Herschel, who published several key research papers and coined the term photography from the Greek words phos and graph, which translate to light and drawing. Camera obscura. Photography's history dates back as far as the 1400s and is hinged on the discovery that if you poke a hole in the wall of a dark room, you create camera obscura. Essentially, the light that passes through this hole is projected upside down and retains its colour and perspective. There are early mentions of this process by philosopher Mozzi and artist Leonardo da Vinci notes his use of camera obscura when tracing pictures in his workshop. This discovery eventually led to the creation of modern eyeglasses and laser beams. But it all really started with the first image recorded in 1717, when Johann Heinrich Schulz recorded fleeting sun prints of words using stencils, sunlight, and a bottle mixture of chalk and silver nitrate. This was essentially an experimental demonstration that the mixture darkens when exposed to light. In 1826, the world's first photograph is taken by Joseph Niepcefor Niepce in France, using a procedure called heliography. The exposure for this photograph took several days and, as you can see, the sun lights up both sides of the building. In 1835, Henry Fox Talbot produced the first durable silver chloride negatives on paper. He also conceived the two-step negative-positive procedure, still used in most non-electronic photography up to the present day. Louis Daguerre had created the first practical photographic process with the aptly named daguerreotype in 1833. And in 1839, the French government purchased the daguerreotype, opening access to the public. The process produced highly detailed photographs onto silver sheeted plates of copper. The procedure exposure time was well over 10 minutes, so traffic moving through the street was not captured. Interestingly though, the photograph did record a man who had been standing still on a path as he had his shoes polished. This human figure is the first to be recorded in photography. The first selfie. Although you might believe that the selfie is a recent phenomenon, in 1839 the world's first self-portrait was taken by a man named Robert Cornelius. Ever wondered why nobody smiles in early photography? Although by 1839 technology had advanced, Exposure time was still as long as three minutes, so people had to keep incredibly still. In 1841, Henry Fox Talbot introduces his patented Talbot type paper negative process. In 1878, Edward Muybridge solved the debate on whether a galloping horse's four hooves ever leave the ground at any one time. He did this by setting up 12 cameras with wire triggers in the path of a moving horse. Of course, the world's first photo sequence proves that they do. And when Thomas Edison encountered this work, he was spurred on to pursue the development of a motion picture system. 10 years later, George Eastman invents the Kodak in 1888, the first handheld camera, and it sold to the public. This camera came with a hundred exposures that needed to be sent back to the factory to be processed and reloaded. Eastman honed in on mass photography in the early 1900s 
with the development of the Brownie. This made waves because it was a mainstream, affordable camera that introduced the concept of the snapshot. In 1925, Oscar Baranac invents the revolutionary Leica 1, allowing photographers to go mobile, a key development that we take for granted today. Major progress. The first SLR appears in 1949. The first SLR, meaning single lens reflex camera, appears in 1949, and the first digital image is created from a scan in 1957. Steve Sasson made a huge breakthrough when he invented the Kodak digital camera in 1975. But the digital revolution really takes flight in the 1990s with DSLRs and point and shoots. In 2002, the first camera phone is invented and this turned the game on its head. Years later, modern smartphones have hugely powerful cameras. This technology enables us to capture images in seconds and disperse them online on a variety of social media platforms. This timeline of where photography was and where it is today really emphasizes the speed at which technology has improved. What have we learned in this lesson? We have learned about the main inventors and auteurs who have brought photography to where it is today. We've also learned about heliography, in which exposure times were several hours and even days, just to create a single photograph. These early photographic techniques by these pioneers have made modern day photography what it is today.